In the frigid depths of Lake Neos, Cameroon, a silent killer waited. On August 21st, 1986, without warning, an invisible cloud of death crept from the volcanic lake, silencing an entire community. 2,300 people and thousands of animals dropped instantly, not from explosion, but from suffocation. The lake had become a deadly trap. Beneath its surface, volcanic magma slowly leaked carbon dioxide into the water, creating a pressurized, invisible menace. That night, something triggered a massive gas release. A wall of colorless, odorless carbon dioxide rolled down the surrounding hills, replacing oxygen in lungs and killing everything in its path. Survivors described a terrifying scene families found seated at dinner tables, dead where they sat. Livestock lay motionless in fields. Children collapsed mid-play. The gas moved so quickly that people had no time to run, no time to scream. When rescuers arrived, they found a landscape frozen in the moment of death. Meals half-eaten, cups mid-lift, farming tools abandoned. An entire ecosystem erased in minutes by an invisible, silent predator rising from the Earth's depths. A natural disaster so swift and complete, it seemed almost supernatural. Supernatural. 